Well, hello everyone. Good morning. March the 19th, Lenten Reflection number 30. It's a beautiful day outside. Don't let the sunshine fool you. It's chilly. I came out here with a t-shirt on. I had to go back in and put on a sweater. Still a beautiful day. March the 19th, Lenten Reflection number 30. Our reading for today's reflection is John 2. Verses 23 through 25. John 2, 23 through 25. Now while Jesus was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. For our reflection for today, I want us to focus on verse 24. Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. Now specifically, I want us to focus in on the phrase, would not entrust himself to them. Well, what does this phrase mean? Jesus would not entrust himself to them. Well, in order for us to answer this question, we need to understand the word entrust. Uh, Entrust means to have faith. By implication, uh, it means trust. End trust means to have faith. By implication, it means trust. The Greek word is related to faith. Jesus didn't have faith in men. Um, Now, as we understand the word... Let's look at it within the context, this phrase. Let's look at verses 23 through 25 again with this phrase defined a little bit. Now, while he was in Jerusalem, Jesus, at the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But he, Jesus, would not put his faith, his trust in them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. If Jesus didn't put his faith, his trust in mankind, why should we? Now, that may sound a little harsh. That may sound contrary, uh, contradictory to biblical love, biblical grace, receiving or extending, but it's not. It's not harsh. This timeless, echoing, rippling cross-reference that we're going to look at should clarify the application for us. Psalm 20, verse 7. Some men trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. For reflection, where does our faith rest? Where does our trust lie? If our faith rests, if our trust lies in anyone other than Jesus, well, we may need to rethink that. Well, I love you. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for this reminder. That yes, we are to love everyone, we are to extend grace to everyone, but Father, we don't put our trust, we don't put our hope, we don't put our faith in anyone other than you. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for continuing to abide in and with us, Lord. I pray, Father, that if we have chosen anyone other than you to trust in, anyone other than you, to put our faith in. If we've done that, forgive us and help us to make the right choice. You. We love, honor, and exalt you. Thank you for meeting us in and through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.